Hey everyone, um, Logan here, and today I thought I'd do a video on um, of a little video on a, of a steam railway in painting called um, Dartmoor Steam Railway. If you've never been, it's essentially a small heritage railway that goes from Payton to Kingswear. Kingswear is a small seaside village. There's loads of uh, fishing ports and there's loads of boats there and loads of shops. Paint to this just basically big old beach where you can get fish and chips, um, golf, pier, loads of things really. And there's a modern railway shop down there. So why don't you come with me ladies and gentlemen and then we go into the car. I have to put my socks on underneath, forgot those. Okay, now I am changed, I'm ready to go. Nothing makes me more happier than going to see a steam railway. Let's go away in a minute. What's this? Simon to leave Hornby. Oh, get in, you prick. Anyway, let's go. Ugh, smells of piss. So, we have officially landed in Paynton, and down that way is just where the steam railways are. Well, this sucks. Turns out the model railway shops now open every Mondays. But if we have a look up here, we see some um, little trains. We have uh, a couple of series and some Mansion Navies. And we've got some Thompsons. We've got Peckett's uh, Prince and Princess's stuff, which looks marvellous in my opinion. Oh, and we've got more over here, we've got some diesels. Yeah. We've got uh, some of those. More diesels, we've got Royal Scotsman. Yeah, then we have this big GW Royal coach now. Lovely. So we had officially arrived at Dartmoor Steam Railway. Here we can see some of the trains that are in stock. Right now they have Hercules, which is in display at the moment. Isn't she beautiful in BR Black? Anyway, our first stop was Dartmoor Station. Here you can buy loads of things, including some sweets, books, hats, and you know, the usual gifts you find at the station. We decided to get a drink here because we were quite thirsty over that drive. The train that will be hauling us today was numbered 4555. She had recently been on loan to another railway but she had come out a few days ago and she was wearing a special headboard it was to celebrate the king's coronation that happened yesterday when this was recorded Railway men at its finest, am I right? If you have never been to Dartmoor Steam Railway, I highly recommend it for the views. You get some splendid beach views from the tracks, and the locals aren't afraid to wave into either, so prepare to get your arm tired from lots of waving. And I don't, and that's not to joke about the waves at the sea, I mean like actual waving. <laughs> One of my favourite parts of the railway here is the massive viaduct you have to travel over. It doesn't look this big on the camera, but trust me, it is a steep drop. It goes over some people's houses, so imagine living there all day, and you get a brilliant view of the sea from over here. Splendid. But now I'll leave you with only the sounds of the railway and the wonderful views of the river dot.
Our final destination was Kingsway in Dartmouth. It's a wonderful little village, so I recommend you stop at this station and check it out. However, to get to Kingsway, you have to actually take a boat there. So, I recommend not taking this journey if you're seasick, like me. However, this was just a fine calm day for the sea, so I was just fine and I didn't get sick. Here's a fun fact for you. The white little building is actually a station, although it's never seen a train. And Tim Traveller has actually done a great video explaining this, so I recommend you check it out. The black and white building next to it was actually the old bookshop that belonged to the author of the Winnie the Pooh series, Christopher Robin. Here's a few clips I took for Kingsway while I was there. Once we had to spend some time in Kingsway, we decided to head back to the station. While we were going back, however, the train came back along the coastline. How sweet! And that concludes our Dartmouth Steam Railway trip. I hope you enjoyed the video ladies and gentlemen. I'm trying out a new style slash format for this video. And so if you like this sort of format slash style, comment down below and I'll have a go at using it with my other videos. I will say GCSEs are coming up quite soon. So videos might not be pumped out as much as usual anymore. So I hope you do understand that. Also quick announcement for me, I have a Discord server now. The link will be in the description along with the Tim Traveller's video about the station I mentioned earlier. But that's all from me today. I hope you enjoyed this video and the rest of your day. And as always, see you in the next video. Goodbye, all.